welcome back to another Reddit video, guys. My name is Blacks TV, and today we're going to be having another look at Reddit Nice Guys. Reddit Nice Guys is an interesting subreddit to read because it makes you feel a lot better about yourself. But before we actually get into this video, this is just light hard fun. If you do watch it and you are pretty sensitive, this is obviously not the channel for you. But enough about that. Let's actually get into the video. I know your bio says you're a nursing student, but I really should say that you're a whale. Ooh, you got me. Your body is repulsive. I mean, you swiped right. Do you just harass women on Tinder for fun? I swipe right so fast I don't even let the pictures load. And yeah, unless I'm trying to fuck them, then I can be quite the gentleman. Not sure who would touch you with a 10 foot pole. Have a great day, Matt. Kill, Kill yourself, fat sir. Guess I have to now. I love a girl who puts the whole thing in. You sound like you really know what you're doing. Wanna go for lunch? I have a boyfriend. No one has to know about this. I'm good at keeping secrets. <laughs> no. You sound like a loyal lady. Has swinging ever caught your interest? No. Stop talking to me. Thanks. You're a massive jerk, you know that? Took a lot of courage to inbox you, and you just thrown it all into my face. We could have had fun. You're kinky, and so am I. Maybe our past it will cross again, but for now, I'm gonna have to leave you alone. Goodbye, my lover. He's gonna grow up to be one of the good ones, and the women are gonna treat him like shit and run after the bad ones. Welcome to life. It makes little sense. Oh, come on, it's just a picture of two toddlers kissing, man. They're kids. Let them be kids. The nice guys even have to comment on toddlers. Let them enjoy the moment for what it is. Nice guys have to ruin everything, don't they? They have to ruin everything. Dudes who think it's insulting to be in the friend zone obviously don't know how it feels to be fuck zone. Is the possibility of us fucking really my only worth to you? Learn how to be friends with people. You know what? Jenna's right. Jenna is speaking the truth. Nice guys, you gotta listen to Jenna. 4.5k retweets and 18.9k likes. That should have a lot more retweets. Nah, you look older. I'm 16. Okay, I get the point. Good thing I can hack your IP address and find out where you live and get access to all your accounts within your address, including your social media and bank accounts, with registered code and encrypting service. Ha! And if you block, report, screenshot, or unfriend me, I'll do the same, but take your grandparents' money too. That's like one of the messages you get on Xbox when you just completely wreck someone in Modern Warfare 2. Hey, my dad works at Microsoft, then. He's gonna get your account blocked and banned and taken off the entire Xbox server. Then you won't have no account no more, you little bitch. Haha. <laughs> like, this is all talk, this is all chat, but the fact is that he's saying that he'll take your grandparents' money too. He's a bit of a piece of shit. He's a bit of a fucking scumbag as well. I legit used to love to hang out with guys more than girls because girls were mean to me but that suddenly changed when one of my guy friends asked to date me and went full douchebag mode on me when I rejected him saying shit like, you thought I was being friendly for what, a high five? When chicks be moaning about not getting enough male attention or interest, like hush bitch you got plenty, just not from the dickhead that you want it from, sorry if nice guys don't cut it for you, fools. Hey blondie. I just came across your profile and I got stunned immediately by your striking beauty. I just had to message you. I wonder if you could spare some time for a lonely heart like me and go out with me sometime. We could go out and have a drink of Frank's. You know that one since you're from Bonson too, right? What about the weekend? Blondie? Seriously? I don't recall anyone ever calling me Blondie and I'm an 80s kid. Great, me too. So when are we going out? We're not. Now I totally get why you're over 30 and still single. Arrogant bitch. I like how he instantly jumps to conclusion and says, Oh, we're going out then, so where are we heading? You haven't even, like, got to know her yet. You pretended to have the same interest and instantly thought that you got the girl. That's not how it works, chief. You gotta try a little bit harder than that. I desperately want a girlfriend. I've been single for my whole life and it's too late for me to get one. I'm 18 and all the girls who would already want a married young boyfriend have already got one. 18 is young. Calm down and learn how to talk to girls. If you're only 18, you can't claim you've been single your whole life. Like it's some tragedy when your life is just beginning. Sorry, but after my childhood friend Sophia got engaged, I've lost hope. Whenever I see a girl I like, I try to avoid her as much as possible because I believe she already has a boyfriend. And if I declare my love to a girl that's already engaged, I might get arrested for stalking. While if I declare my love to a child seven or eight years younger than me, the only people I believe not to be already engaged by the time I meet them, I think I might get arrested for paedophilia. Overall, if I fall in love again, I'm gonna jail. I'm sure of that. Is it possible to still keep hoping that you'll be loved after having asked so many girls and found out that all of them already have a boyfriend and none of those boys were deceased? Like, what the fuck? There are people who don't find their life mate until they're 40 plus years old. TV and movies give the wrong idea. Outside of arranged marriages, it's rare to find your soulmate while still a teenager. This is not the norm. And holding yourself to that standard shows a severe lack of maturity. And judging from your comments to other for word, 
but I recall mentioning that you wanted a girl who's submissive and pure heart like me. You're hardly pure of heart, and it sounds like you want a little more than a slave you can bang for whenever you want. I found my partner late last year, moved in with me, got married, great jobs, the work. I the majority of the cooking, he brings home the big money. I'm 31, he's 32, and neither of us are submissive to the other. That's just boring. I never thought of myself as pure. If anything, I believe to be a heartless jerk. It's natural for someone that has lost hope and love entirely to turn into a heartless jerk. And this is why I fear love itself. And it's easy to call my ideal girl a slave, as I'm not a feminist, and I want to treat my girlfriend as she was a part of me, and if she had come out from a dream. I don't know if it's possible to find love at 40 plus, as I, at 18, think that I might have to resort to paedophilia to find my soulmate. Obviously, I don't want to, but I'm pessimistic. I think a girlfriend's function were to be a light of hope that gives me serenity and saves me from depression. It's not easy to grasp this concept if you aren't like me. What the fuck did I just read? So the guy's the same age as me, right? And he can't find love. He can't find love of people that are his own age, so he resorts to finding people that are six to seven or eight years younger than him, who don't know the meaning of love, who are innocent, who are gullible, who are easily like, they can be manipulated easily to believe something else. So he's technically, he's on the verge of being a nonce, but he doesn't want to be a nonce because he thinks being a nonce is bad, but he feels like he has no choice but to be a nonce in order to find love. And then we go back to the whole thing the only time I'd find love is if that boyfriend was dead. What the fuck? Honestly? Seriously, man. You, you need some help. You need to get outside, chief. Clean yourself up. Take the fedora off and actually see the world for what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because shit like this is not good. You posting that on the Facebook comment section where all your fucking Facebook friends, everybody that you know is going to see this, you've lost the trust of everybody right now. That's disgusting. That is honestly disgusting, man. Holy shit. To be fair with you guys, that's borderline incel stuff. That's pretty dangerous, man. You are my light, my love, and my reason for being. I could never be with anyone else because any other love would be a cheap imitation of my feelings for you. You are my one and only, and I am yours, always and forever. If you catch a breath between chugging dicks, I'd love to hear from you. What the fuck? I spoke too soon. Fuck it all. If you have the utmost nerve to friendzone a good man, then you deserve to be abused by the one you're with. Period. What a nice guy. What a fucking gentleman. This is the man that all the girls want. The fact is, you say that you deserve to get abused if you friendzone a good person just goes to show that you're not a fucking good person. The girl to get abused by their boyfriend just because they said, no, I have a boyfriend or I just see you as a friend really sets the tone for your fucking personality and what you're fucking like the girl didn't see anything in you why should she give up her boyfriend for you what are you gonna do be nice oh be a nice guy fuck off honestly nice guy equals a man who do nice things with a sole expectation of sexual favors in return wrong not all of us and then we have found our nice guy right here I couldn't have said it better myself from the girl that posted that or the guy that posted that on the top post right there that is the sole and prime example of what a nice guy is and what a nice guy does. I don't understand the nice guy logic. They could do something as simple as holding the door open for people. I've held the door open for people and a fucking car horn, fuck off, prick. Someone beeping their fucking horn outside. Great, lost fucking train of thought now, thanks to the fucking dickhead outside. But going back into it, the nice guy's logic is basically this. You could do a simple thing as holding the door opening for someone, but you don't think of it. You know, like if you're going into a shop or you're going into a place and someone opens the door for you, holds it open for you, just like thanks. Because, you know, you don't have to open the door yourself. And if you do it for other people, then it's just, it's good, right? But it's just a good deed. It's just the thing you do out of respect for people. You don't do it and expect to get a reward in return. You know, I've done it loads of times and I've expected nothing. So why are these nice guys thinking, if I hold a door open for a woman, why isn't she giving me sex? Is because why would she want to give you sex for doing such a simple fucking basic task? You don't get sex or you don't get extra points for being nice. If you think that way, then you need to think differently because this is not the right way. But yeah, that is it for the video. I've been recording for a God knows how long, but that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, link is down below in the description, you guys know all that bullshit. But other than that, have a great day. My name's from Blacks TV, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you, man. Bars in my head like shampoo. Violate my squad might bang you. Only chance is
in my team like man you Yeah like man you Thank you man Bars in my head like shampoo Violate my squad might bang you bang. Only champs in my team like man you Yeah like man you Let me talk to the big dog No local man who's 